Rated M for Mature. Are you sick of zombies trying to give you killer hugs? Or maybe you want that sniper to just shut up. Here is our complete guide to every enemy in Zombie Army 4 and how to take them down, part 1. Hello and welcome to Rebellion, where the rotting, shrieking forms of the zombified undead are alive and well. With the release of the Season 2 DLC for Zombie Army 4 Dead War now upon us, we thought it was about time that we shared some useful tips when it comes to stabbing, trapping, shooting, burning or indeed completely vaporising our pesky shuffling friends into the next century. If you're going to beat this lot, it'll help a lot to know exactly what each specific type is capable of and how to beat them, so let's examine exactly that. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, come on guys, all the cool kids have done it, then please do so now. If you have, then it's time to get on that neon headband, load up that Walkman with a cassette of your favourite montage tunes from Rocky and get into the Zen Zone with our guide to taking down every zombie enemy in Zombie Army 4. As Sun Tzu once put it, know thyself, know thy enemy. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Ah, the good old classic zombie, the quintessential ingredient of any self-respecting zombie army game. Be prepared to encounter a lot of these guys. While their modest if slightly skinny build might not look overly threatening to your well-armed and well-dressed team, don't fall for the classic mistake of underestimating your enemy. They are deadly in a group, which is a real inconvenience because that's how you're going to encounter most of them. Their violent hugs and claw-like high-five attempts give you considerable damage if you take enough of them. The good news is that you can dispose of them with an almost casual indifference. Their squishy appendages provide some of the most grotesquely amusing kill cam shots in the game, and a well-placed mine or tripwire will provide some excellently satisfying combo scores for your counter. They come in a variety of shapes, carrying accessories from miners' hats to helpful little exploding canisters in the hands of engineers, but some have even managed to remember how to fire a weapon, and these are usually the ones who drop health packs and ammo after a few suitable boot stomps. They're the staple diet for kills in Zombie Army 4, providing plenty of glorious explosive-filled moments, and there's nothing quite like taking down a horde of them and reaching that coveted 100 kills combo bonus. ker -ching. If wiping the floor with bog-standard zombies seems too easy a challenge for you, try playing the game on brutal mode if you're so confident, then brace yourself for the next level of zombie soldier evolution, the armoured giant. This creaking, clinking, clattering cacophony of big bone beastliness can usually be found amongst a group of regular zombie brain munchers, but that doesn't mean your approach should be the same as it would be with Bob the soldier here. Alright Bob mate? Indeed, they are bullet sponges for the most part, and the armour they wear can soak up an entire rifle clip before you realise that a change of tack is needed. The best technique is to use explosives against them. A teller or incendiary mine will do considerable damage to their metal suits, as will frag grenades, saving you the hassle of firing endlessly into their shiny plating. The more damage they receive, the more pieces of armour fall off, giving you a prime chance to headshot them as they shuffle slowly towards your direction. If you have a melee kill to spare, then you can dispatch one right from the get-go, but if you're facing a group of them together at the same time, there's no shame in beating a tactical retreat and laying down some fireworks for these not-so-gentle giants. While mowing down your typical garden zombie into a pile of unfresh meat produce always brings its own kind of dark satisfaction, we wouldn't want things to be too easy for our survivors now, would we? Enter stage left, the Grenadier. These hooded undead bad boys will quickly earn your ire as they use their special trait against you and your team, those sodding grenades. Grenadiers come complete with a hardened shield, which they'll hide behind for all but the brief few seconds it takes them to lob you guessed it, a piping hot grenade in your direction. Shooting the shield does no damage unless you have a heavy gun equipped, more on that later, and unfortunately if you're playing solo, their legs have just enough springiness to them that trying to run around their shield before they turn usually proves more frustrating than if you just stood there taking their nades. But good things come to those who wait, and a bit of angelic patience will let you give that grenadier a new hole to breathe out of. Back to hell for you, Tota! However, if your collection of virtues lacks the before-mentioned patience, then fret not. 
If you're really pushed to the upper limits of your anger management breathing exercises, then you can exhale at the sight of your melee kill using that zombie's own shield against it. Ah, now that was satisfying. Adding to your annoyance is the super helpful and rather charming sniper zombie. Oh, sorry, did I say helpful and charming? I actually meant complete and utter in shooting you. These eagle-eyed enemies will prove to be some of your more difficult kills throughout the game, with their maniacal laughter haunting you as your bullets miss them or if they manage to land a cheeky shot at you from afar. Making matters worse is their ability to leap great distances within the blink of an eye, making your task of sharp shooting them out of existence seemingly impossible. But never fear, help is on hand in the form of a visual and audio cue. When snipers have their sights on you, you'll always hear this piercing metallic strum. And their highly advanced laser scope, presumably from the future, is visible as it edges closer and closer to your location. Also beware of the rocket launcher pals of these guys as they incessantly fire volley after volley of deadly rockets that can kill you long before you even see where they're coming from. The best advice for shutting up these zombie hyenas once and for all is to constantly move around the spot in the map where they appear. You'll be able to see their ghostly streams of movement in the distance every time they jump. Once they do, you'll have a good 5-10 to 10 seconds before they relocate. Raise your scope, take a deep breath and watch the laws of physics in action. This one moves fast! The Gunner is the first of our special zombie types, making his first campaign appearance in the Death Canal mission located in the lovely Venice. In terms of temperament, the Gunner is utterly ruthless when it comes to unloading his infinite bandolier of hot lead towards you and your friends, and he will quite often happily shoot through any zombies that get in his way to do so. The phrase duck and cover has never been more appropriate when facing off against these guys. Get as much distance between yourself and his cannon of awfulness as you can, and as fast as you can. Like the two other most common specials in the game, if the gunner receives enough damage, you'll have a quick opportunity to perform a melee kill on him and put an end to the constant stream of bullets that have been headed your way. But make sure not to accidentally target the wrong zombie for the melee, as I have done hundreds, <clears throat> I mean several, times. If that happens, not only will you have not killed him, but now you'll be exactly in front of his gun barrel. One upside to the gunner, which is shared with most other specials, is that you can pick up his heavy MG weapon as soon as it's dropped. Although the ammo is now suddenly limited, honestly, when was he planning to run out of bullets when he was using it, eh? You can now unleash your righteous fury upon the remaining members of the undead horde with much deserved aplomb. For the last entry on this list, we're introducing another special, and this one's revealed in the final chapter of Dead Ahead. The Flamer, or Flames as he likes to be known by his friends, will quickly become your new best fiend whenever he shows up on the map. Just like the Gunner, the Flamer is able to run long distances to catch up with your squad, and his greeting is usually, in fact always, fire-based. Again, close quarters is not recommended when taking on Flamers, as their weapon range is considerable and does a mighty amount of damage that you simply can't ignore and pretend will go away. The best tactic that has the fastest results is to target the large gas tank snugly fitted to the Flamer's back. If you manage to attack its weak point for massive damage, the Flamer will give up with a highly synchronized fiery flourish, and then his weapon will be yours to behold. Another thing to keep an eye out for when dealing with specials is that each type carries their own set of grenades with the flamers being, you guessed it, incendiary. So be sure to stomp away as fast as possible to collect the spoils. Oh, but if you're thinking of fighting fire with fire, then using one of their own flamethrowers against them will give you a justified sense of poetic justice for this sizzling zombie shish kebab. And so concludes part one of our handy tips guide for taking down Zombie Army 4's many, many enemies. Share with us any insights you've gained whilst fighting back the forces of the undead in the comments below. We always love to read about the inventive ways you've come up with sticking it to Hitler's loyal minions. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the videos we're putting out, as well as part two of this vid. For now though, keep sticking to that training regimen and blow some zombie brains to dust.